Hey guys, it's Henry69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival, Season 7, Episode 33, I think. Uh, it's about to be nighttime, but that's okay, because we're going to head down here. Actually, I'd rather sleep, so I'll just talk while I walk, run, <laughs> over to this bed and take a quick nap. Speaking of naps, I am incredibly tired right now, and I wish I could go to bed, but you gotta do what you gotta do, and that is record. <laughs> Took like a three-hour nap after work today, and I got super sunburnt at work, so uh, I'm, uh, I'm definitely feeling it right now. Today, though, um, I want to finish up the mob farm, and uh, I don't... I'm debating on what I want to do after that. I either want to clean up the village, move the villagers, or I want to start working on a farm over here. Um, you know, the industrial farm. They're all kind of villager related because I only want to do the farm to be able to uh, trade with the villagers. But I also need some, I need pumpkins for like lights and stuff and all that. Hopefully we can wrap up the villager project though in the next uh, couple episodes. Um, this mob farm has nothing to do with the villagers, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually incredibly unfortunate that, uh, oh, we got a storm. I think it's actually a tornado or a hurricane way off in the distance. I'll pull out a radar here in a second and check it. Oh, no, it's actually a hailstorm. Surely this will not hit our other village, because that would be... Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, let me grab a block here. I keep doing that where I'll uh, destroy our little thing here. So let's just do that. Hello, Tanner. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, off in the distance here. Oh yeah, we're golden. It it's heading away, and it's a hurricane. Who cares? Okay, so with the mob farm, I ended up deciding to build more layers up into the windmill so it goes two more layers up all the way to the top floor this pulls particles from an insane distance away for this I, don't, I almost don't like that because that's like hundreds of blocks that those are traveling but yeah so you can't actually get up to, into the windmill anymore but you know we never went up there anyways so it's fine I got these rooms like this so it looks normal and then upstairs you couldn't fit another layer so the upstairs is still there, but we just can't get there. You can actually see the uh, <laughs> the top of the second layer right there. So that's where that ends. Um, it's increased the rates a little bit. I've been trying to do caving, but like there are just so many caves that it's, it's just going to have to be a couple. It's going to be a few live streams it's going to take before we're able to uh, able to get the rates that we're wanting. But I will show you. I don't. It's probably been a few hours of gameplay. I've been around the area, and I mean, I took the gunpowder out, but this gives you an idea of the kind of rates we're getting. I actually got a decent amount of uh, of gunpowder. It was like 30 almost. So, I mean, that's enough to make me rockets. I got like another stack back at the base, but as we cave, this is going to get better. Um, the design... Oh, crap. The design for this... I want to just do uh, a continuation of what's upstairs with some spruce. Unfortunately, I don't think I have spruce. <laughs> I have some, right? I don't have a lot. So I'm just going to do spruce floor, walls, ceiling, all that. Put some logs in here and there for some design so it's not a super, you know, just brown. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's the, that's the plan. So uh, I'm just going to mess around with some designs and I'll cut back in and show you what I, what I got in the end here. So just to give you guys a quick update on what I'm doing so far, this is, uh, this is pretty much the look. Um, I've got chest on this back wall. I moved the ladder this way so that uh, we don't have this stupid column in here. It kind of sucks up top there, but uh, it's, it's all right. Um, the reason I got in, though, is I, I can't concentrate, guys. Um, do, can any of you guess why I can't concentrate? I'll give you one guess. Let's see if anyone guesses right. I can't concentrate because of this bat right here. Do you hear this thing? How can anyone build with this thing just in this glass column, squeaking nonstop? <laughs> Gosh, it's so annoying. I don't even know how he found his way down here, but uh, 
Oh, great. Now he's out in the room flying about. And the, there's just only one way, one way to handle this. Everyone avert your eyes. That's that's all I've got to say. I hate to do this to you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you can they add a more annoying item in the game? <laughs> but uh, hopefully this room will be without torches. We're going to put more chests on this wall here. I don't... I'm trying to figure out the layout, so like, if we, we'll use these stone blocks as, wow, that's not going to work. We'll use these uh, magna block, magma blocks as chest. So if we do chest right here, put a column right there, two more chests right here, column, two more chests right here. Then you put a column there and it just doesn't, doesn't fit. So you try to meet in the middle and uh, you do chest, chest, and then chest. Then you got a column of two, right? And then if you do column there, chest, or like that, you still got a column of two. It's just, it's not going to work. And then you do like this, it works, but, or no, it doesn't even work like that, does it? No, because this has to be center. I don't know. I'm going to have to mess out with the, with the design there. I might figure something out. We'll see. But uh, yeah, underneath here we have magma blocks, and then underneath that is these pumpkins to light them. I just like the way the magma blocks looks more than the pumpkins. Could have used glowstone, but eh. Might have been a waste of glowstone. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually really slow. Also got magma blocks under here. I need more spruce is the thing that's slowing me up right now. Oh, it's like an elevator. <laughs> yeah, this, is, uh, this has been your building update. <laughs> I'm going to continue. Uh, storms, none. It's been raining. Got it set on four days. I really don't want to deal with another tornado wrecking my builds this episode. So uh, we'll we'll see uh, see if anything spawns, but I doubt it. Of course, I'll update you if it does. But for now, I'm going to get back to building. So uh, pretty far along in the building here, and I've made a terrible discovery. <laughs> uh, the dimensions of the room were off, and that's that's going to hurt because uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, which means I have to tear this down, extend this out one, move the move the entirety of this back one, and that's just it's gonna be a pain. Um, what I decided to do here is I uh, just put one wall of chest right here, and uh, this right here is going to lead to a uh, to a minecart station that'll lead here to the house and to the old base. And then this will be I'll put like a weather forecaster in there, an ender chest, and a couple other stuff. That's uh, that's gonna be what this is, and then you know the rest of this will be storage. Like I said, this is still moving along pretty slow, but you know it it works. Got a little bit of gunpowder. What eighteen? I don't I don't need too much. And you know as I improve my caving through here, you can look on the map. There's a few dark spots like right up here and stuff. As I knock a lot of that out, it'll it'll uh, it'll get better. I really like how this room's turning out. Wood is definitely my favorite block to build with, so I'm uh, probably more experienced with it than anything. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this dumb error and then get back to work. All right, guys. So this uh, design in this room is now complete. I didn't do this railroad yet, cause that's gonna take a while. Did I build this on the wrong side? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I think I did, but that's fixable. <laughs> I think the railway is that way, but uh. I decided to just add chests here because once I fix the dimensions of the room, I can put chests here. This is a pretty large storage area, by the way. I think I might have overdone it. Probably could have made the room smaller, but that's fine. Um, block light, you can see right here. You're going to look at your... Oh, that's not the right one. You're going to look at your blocks, block light right here. Um, it's good all around. It drops to 8, but that's fine. You can be at 8. It's the lowest you can go, but we're good on that. Got my ender chest, furnace, all that fun stuff. Um, do I have any coal in any of these? I'm going to guess no, unless it's in here. No. That's fine. Um, I'll bring some down here. I don't even need a furnace. It's just a block to add right there. Um, but yeah, this, I'm pretty satisfied with how this came out. I like the uh, like the design here. I don't know why this block is like this. Oh, the torch is there. What if I jump up way higher and do that? Is that any better? It's still kind of, kind of like that, isn't it? What if I jump even higher? <laughs> yeah, do that. There we go. It's not as noticeable. Still kind of noticeable, but it's fine. 
further one until I can go up there and place a half slab and then the stair. But yeah, I like how this room came out, so um, we're done with this project for now. Um, I'll connect this. This is not something I'm going to do on stream on camera. I'll uh, I'll do it off camera, and then one day I'll just show you. Be like, hey, I added the railway railway here, because then I got to do all the redstone wiring again. I got to bring the railway over here, and it's just a huge project that I'm not ready to tackle right now. So for now, we're just going to use this ladder up and down, and then one day when I get uh, ambitious, I'll connect it. But yeah, I really like how this turned out, and um, uh, it's pretty good. And oh, we might just throw a forecaster in the floor right here for the heck of it. I don't know if that'll stay or not, but we need a forecaster in here, so we could even do two if we wanted to, but it's a waste of these. <laughs> they cost a lot of resources, so that's not gonna happen. Okay, that's uh that's that. Let's move on to something else. Alright, so for the rest of the episode I decided that we are going to move the villagers. And my only issue is how exactly do we go about this? Because this is not going to be an easy process. We've got two options basically. We can uh we can set up a railroad 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 or we can set up we can set up a railroad or we can take the boat. And uh each option is pretty pretty garbage. Um I don't know if you can lead villagers. If you can, that's what we're gonna do. But I don't think you can do that. We're gonna have to find that out. I'm just going to replant this here because this is the stuff that we will be trading with the villagers once we get them over here, or at least some of the stuff, right? <laughs> um, my carrot supply is pretty depleted, as in I never had any. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm planting as many carrots as possible, and then uh, we'll grow our, our carrot capacity, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to go with... <sighs> is we will we'll boat if this is if if the leads work and then we'll just use the leads but if the leads don't work we'll boat the villagers to the house and then from there we'll put them in the mine carts and take them to the village so that's the plan hopefully leads work but i don't think you can use leads on a villager maybe you can i don't know i don't know my Minecraft knowledge is not what it used to be, my friends. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, this sucks. So, something incredibly unfortunate is uh, the boat won't go up. <laughs> one, one block, sorry. And uh, whenever I break the boat, this guy immediately jets off towards home, which is not good. Right. Um, we might have to scratch this project. Okay. I know <laughs> we wanted them in the underground village, but I'm not taking the time <laughs> to transfer these guys, right? <laughs> That's that that would just be ridiculous. It's it's just logistically not pos not worth my time to move these guys from this village all the way to the other one. It's just yeah, it's just not going to happen. Like I said, that's uh, I don't want to have to build a railway from here to the house and then have to do all that. Because not only do we transfer like six villagers from here to there, we have to transfer like six of them from there to here. And that's just going to get way too complicated. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just going to have to stay this way. One last thing. Oh, crap. One last thing I wanted to check, though. Whoops. Why am I so bad? Hello. There we go. All right. One last thing I wanted to check is... All right. So this guy's here, right? Um, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's actually a really good villager. But if we were to transfer this guy by boat to the other village, because I want to make this place like a little memorial area for him. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. How how bad is this going to be? We're only going over there, right? Can't be too bad. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I think I'm going to transfer this guy over there. Are you kidding? You can't get up. <laughs> Pathway blocks. 
That's how much the boat cannot climb. If it falls an eighth of a block, it actually will not will not do it. That's a shame. Um, oof. Yikes. Um, yeah, this is logistically impossible. There's no way I was going to be able to move those other ones. <laughs> yep. On the open road again, me and my buddy. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if I made you guys watch this for like 15 minutes? That would be crazy. Come on, dude. There's just one little staircase here I need you to climb. And I have complete and total faith that you will. Because you're a good little villager who is shell-shocked that his home just got absolutely flattened by an EF3. So what are you going to do? You're going to push and push up these stairs like a cooperative little long-nosed greedy j j villager will do. There we go. We're in the home stretch now, boys. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yep. That, uh, I'm glad I didn't, uh, glad I decided not to worry about it. Can I not place this flower? That's fine. <laughs> we made it. Welcome to your new home. Hopefully this one doesn't get absolutely wiped out by a monster wedge that, uh, hasn't hit anything else in this world but the one village I spend hours on. There we go. All right. Welcome home. Go uh, mate with the others. No, you can't. No. No, dude. Dude, you live here now. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. We've got doors and stuff. Yeah. No, trust me. You're yeah, yeah, go. Come on. Yeah, hi. Yeah, see, look, you got other people here. Oh, oh, he's exploring. He's like, oh, interesting. This place hasn't been wiped out by a giant EO4. Uh huh. Interesting. You like it here? You get you good? Look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he sees it's nighttime, and look at that. He's going indoors. He's gonna be just fine. Okay, you two just take some carrots and uh. Did they take them? Yeah, they took them. All right, there you go. Have fun in your new home. All right, let's go demolish their other one. All right, let's go. Come here to this place of absolute pure destruction. And what I've decided to do with this place is we're going to tear it all down except for this church that I accidentally tore. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, we're going to leave the church because it's the only thing that didn't get, you know, absolutely hit. Um, I think this farm, yeah, this farm got hit. Um, this one didn't and neither did this house. But I think we're just going to leave the church and that's it. We'll tear down the walls and everything else. And it'll just serve as a little memorial spot for them. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tear down every single house. And uh, we'll leave the glowstone lights, I guess. Actually, we might end up taking them. But we'll see. I'm, uh, I'm going to do a little work here. Alright guys, so I cleared out everything except for the church here. Um, even the paths and all that good stuff. My inventory got super full because of it. I've shift click it shift click it da da ah, words fail me sometimes I tell you <laughs> I've shift click it oh man second time is not the charm <laughs> I put everything in there good <laughs> there we go um so this is uh it's the only building left did I just leave this shulker box laying around because that's not a good idea <laughs> uh yeah it's just the church left so now for the memorial part. First of all, I want this thing to be lit up like a freaking Christmas tree, right? This is going to be a memorial, you know. We want people to be able to see it. I got rid of all the pumpkin lights. So, this, this will be the only light source anywhere nearby. We're going to try to make it look good. We'll see how we can do. Um, oh, there's another pumpkin right there i got to grab. Um, let's see that on the outside and then yeah that'll work put that right there and then up top oh crap <laughs> let's just delete this and uh, go back up I'll put them on the corners too just to make sure it's super lit up and everyone can see our cool little memorial <laughs> all right let's go back down 
Another thing that I did is I grabbed all the nearby poppy flowers because the villagers give the poppies to the iron golems. Surely it means something to them. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, yeah, I do have to. So we're going to plant the poppies. I would do a poppy for every villager that died, but I don't know how many villagers actually died. <laughs> so I can't realistically do that. Uh huh. So is that it? Is that all I did? Let's put these on the corner. Yeah. Maybe put one in the middle here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, put one in the middle. All right. There we go. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Right here. All right. Good. We got the flowers around. Oh, yeah. It's looking nice. Okay. Let's, uh, I brought some signs. So inside here, did I not bring the signs? I did. Okay. So inside, oh, we can get rid of that now. Okay. Um, what was the date that this happened? I don't know. Um, I'll have to Google that. But we will put in memoriam. In memoriam. Is it memoriam? All right. I'm just gonna Google it. Okay. No reason to mess up this. Let's see. Google, where you at? Ah, there you are. Memorial. That is not how you spell it, but the word does exist. Yeah. It's Latin. That's good. Villagers love Latin, I think. In memorial. Memorial. Who wants? lived here and we'll put the date so let's just go to, I'm just gonna do the date that it was uploaded we'll go with that lore instead of saying uh, whenever I recorded it because it's a whole lot easier for me to just go to YouTube and say oh it was uploaded on this date okay that's great so oh, yeah. oh you can hear the video June 9th so 6-9-19 rest in peace all right there we go that's pretty good they're honored there you go one of them lived and there's one survivor so you got that going for him all right let's get a little fly around look at this thing now now that it's night time let's see how well it shows up Get the rockets out. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That'll be a good screenshot. Alright, yeah, that kind of shows a little how it's set up. I think we got all the, all the everything that remained of the place, too. Um, are we going to be able to see this from our airport tower? I think that's a good question to ask. Oh, and I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, just put these here. I've been meaning to do that for a while. And probably uh, at the end of this path there, just so there's light in this area. Um, I never noticed. I never put torches in here. I guess mobs could spawn in here, couldn't they? That's fine. <laughs> oh, and I took the radar out of here for some reason. Um, no, nah, you can't really see it unless I, it keeps turning my render distance down, and I do not appreciate that. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Yep, there it is. In memoriam. Latin for, uh, in memory of. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. Next episode, we'll probably work on the farms. The, uh, huge farm thing I plan on building over there where the tornado actually went through. Yeah, like I said, hope you all enjoyed. Any comments, suggestions, all that good stuff, just put them down below. Don't worry, there's no stupid... Well, there are definitely no stupid comments, but I won't tell you that they're stupid. Somebody else will. <laughs> hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!